In this video, I'll show you how you can go and install World Edit in Minecraft. I go over the full steps and everything you need to know. So let's go and get right into this guide. If you didn't know, World Edit is a mod for Minecraft. So therefore, we need basically an add-on for Minecraft, which allows us to go and run mods. So to do that, we're going to use something called Minecraft Forge. So I'm firstly going to show you how you can install Minecraft Forge. And then I'll show you how you can install World Edit uh, with Forge. So the first thing you need to do is go and open up a web browser. I personally use Google Chrome, but you can use any you would like uh, and then go to a search engine. So here we are. The first thing we're going to get is World Edit. So just go and search for World Edit like so, all one word. Then what we need to do is go to this website here called Curse Forge, place where you can go and get Minecraft mods from. So yeah, just make sure you download Minecraft mods from a trusted website as otherwise they could be viruses. Then scroll down and go and tap on files like so. And this is going to show us all the different versions of World Edit we can get. But what we need to know is the game version. So as you can see in this case, uh, the most up to date version of World Edit is for Minecraft 1.19.4, which is fine. But what we just need to make sure is that we then go and get Minecraft Forge 1.19. 19.4 as well because they need to be the same otherwise it isn't going to work basically so yeah the game versions need to be the same so that's fine then go over to the right hand side and tap on these three dots here and go tap on download file and the download should hopefully start in a, in a countdown so like one second now and there we go it's now gone and downloaded so yeah now what we need to do is go and download Minecraft Forge. So I'm going to head back to Google and then I'm going to go and search for Forge just like so and make sure you go to the official website as well, which is minecraftforge.net. Now, because we went and downloaded World Edit for 1.19.4, that's useful to know because then we need to make sure we get um 1.19.4 version of Minecraft Forge. So in this case, I'll need to go and select it on the left hand side like so. If you find that you can't go and get the same game version for World Edit and Forge, then you may need to go and get an older version of World Edit for example, maybe the one before that, um, because then you can go and get the older version of Forge as well. Just make sure they're the same. Of course, these versions are probably going to be different to yours because uh, more updates to Minecraft will be released. But anyways, now let's go and tap on Installer like so. You'll then be taken to an like, add wall. So just be careful what you click here because it isn't going to be what you expect. What you need to do is wait for the timer in the top right and then it'll say skip and then download will hopefully go and begin. So now that we've gone and downloaded Forge and World Edit, we can now go and close off our browser. And what we need to do is go and open up our file explorer. Then you can go to a downloads folder on the left hand side and you should have the Forge installer and the World Edit mod. So now what I'm going to do is go and drag these onto my desktop just like so. So the first thing we need to go and install is Forge. So what you will need to do is go and double click on it like so. Now a few different things may happen when you try and launch Forge. Either nothing may happen or another application may open and this is because you aren't launching it with Java. So firstly, make sure you've got the most up-to-date version of Java. To do that, open a web browser and go to java.com. So I'm just going to go and search for Java like so, and then make sure you go to the official website, which is java.com. And then once you're here, go and tap on download Java and then go and follow the installation instructions. It's super easy. Then once you've gone and installed it, come back to Forge like so and right click on it and then tap open with and make sure you tap on Java TM platform SE binary. You may need to go and tap on choose another app and then find it in this list here and then go and tap on always and then it should go and open up. So after installing Java, if you're still struggling to install Forge, you may need to run something called a jar fix. I've got a full guide on that, which I'll go and put in the description of this video. So go and expand it and you should be able to click on that there and watch it. And that should go and fix your jar files and Java files not opening. Anyways, once you've gone and got it working, then just make sure you click on install client and then tap OK. Then as you can see it doing some downloads and installs, you can just go and sit back and wait. Once it's finished, it will then say successfully installed client profile for the next thing you need to do is go onto your keyboard and go and tap on the windows key on the left hand side and the R key at the same time. And it's going to open up something called run. If you're struggling to go and use a shortcut, you can always just go and search your computer for run. Then what you need to do is just type in app data like so, and then go and tap on OK. Then what you need to do is go into roaming like so, and then you need to go and find dot Minecraft. It should be near the top like so. And in here, you now need to go and find the mods folder. It should have been created uh, when you went and installed Forge. However, if it if you can't go and find the mods folder here, then literally just right click here and go and press on new and create a new folder and call it mods. However, it should auto automatically be there. And then go and double tap on it like so. And then what you need to do is go and drag the world edit mod in just like like that and that's it 
Now what we need to do is go and open up the Minecraft launcher. And then once you're in the Minecraft launcher, what you need to do is go over to the left hand side of the play button and go and click on your Minecraft version, tap here. And then what you need to do is make sure you go and select Forge. As you can see, I need to scroll down a bit and this is the version I need. So tap there like so, and then go and tap on play. And then what you'll need to do is agree here because you're basically running a modded version of Minecraft. Now wait for it to load. And now here we are in Minecraft and you'll know Forge is running properly because it's going to go and say mods. And then you want to go and check if World Edit is in this section here. So tap on mods and as you can see on the left hand side, here it is. So if World Edit isn't appearing, you may have got the wrong version uh, for the version of Forge you're running. So just make sure you've got the correct version. Now I'm going to go and get into a world and show you what it's like. So here we are, Minecraft has just loaded. And then what we need to do to go and start using world edit is we need to go and get the world edit wand so open up your chat by pressing t then type in slash slash and type in wand like so then as you can see we then go and get this axe here and we can go and select positions and things like that if you're struggling to go and get this you may need to go and have cheats enabled in your world so make sure they are so yeah let's quickly give a quick example so as you can see firstly you need to left click your position one and then right click for your second position so let's go and start here for example so i'll uh, click here and then what we'll do is go and set the second position which is then here then what we can do is there's so many things you can do with it but one come on we could use this replace so type in slash slash then replace like this and then you need to choose what the current block is so in this case it's grass underscore block and then you can choose what you want the blocks to be replaced with so in this case we could go and do diamond block like this then hit enter just like that and there we go we've now gone and replaced the blocks it's that easy so if you guys found this video useful then please consider leaving a like peace